Do you want to know how to start a vending machine business? Do you want to know how much it costs to start and what you need to create a vending machine business? Well, keep watching. This video will tell you more about how to start a vending machine business. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below. And remember to click the notification bell to be the first to know when we upload our videos. Starting a vending machine related business is a surefire method to profit from technology and retailing. A vending machine business is a retail operation that does not require face to face connection with customers and can operate 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, depending on the location. Also, because it may be adjusted to the owner's lifestyle, this business provides flexibility to the owner. Vending machines sell beverages, snacks, lottery tickets, alcohol, cigarettes, fragrances, toys, candy, and other products. Due to underage customers, there are stringent rules prohibiting alcohol and cigarettes through vending machines. Anyone can start a vending machine business because it is a low-cost venture. You may get a good deal on an old vending machine and still get a lot of use out of it. The vending machine business does not require any special knowledge and any dedicated entrepreneur may expect to make a substantial profit from it. Operating costs are negligible for individuals who use one or a few vending machines in the same area. This means that a vending machine owner with a few vending machines can compete favorably with vending machine owners with multiple vending units in various places. You may be wondering why you should start a vending machine business. Firstly, low startup cost. In theory, anyone with a few thousand dollars can create their own vending machine business. Money can be swiftly reinvested, and the firm grows as its initial machine begins to profit. So, the entry hurdle to this industry is relatively low. Secondly, there is a loyal customer base. You can start creating a loyal, trustworthy customer base straight away if you can find the proper location to begin your vending machine business. Other benefits are continuous demand. People will always need to eat lunch, drink water, and consume snacks during the day, so vending machine usage is largely recession-resistant. Then there is scalability and a broad target market. The cost of beginning a vending machine business is determined by the number of machines you want to acquire, where you want to put them, the contracts you'll need, and the commodities each device will provide. A used vending machine will typically cost between $1,200 and $3,000, whereas a brand new vending machine would cost between $3,000 and $10,000. Purchasing in bulk can help you save money on a per-machine basis. Other costs to consider are labor, who will stock the vending machines, material. What will you supply the vending machines with, use, do you need to pay to keep your device in a specific location, and other overhead fees. Let's look at the precise actions to get started. The first step is formalizing your business. By standardizing your company, you can decrease your liability risk, lower your tax requirements, gain access to extra funding, and accelerate your growth. For example, a vending machine company could be organized as an LLC, a partnership, or a corporation, S corporation, or C corporation. Even if the business appears to be straightforward and low risk, formalizing it is a vital first step. Secondly, open a business bank account. Separating your personal and corporate finances will be considerably more accessible with a business bank account. As your income grows, the requirement for separate accounts will grow even more. Additionally, partnering with a business-friendly institution, such as North One, can help you access the resources you need to expand your company. Thirdly, choose the type of vending machine you want. There are different types of vending machines to pick from, and the one that is best for you may be determined by what you want to sell. However, vending machines are commonly associated with drinks or food devices. Fourthly, choose the features you want your vending machine to have. Vending machines have become much more complex over time. Including features like braille numbering or voice assistance in your vending machine can help make it more accessible to a broader range of individuals. All elements to consider are a credit and debit card reader, combination features, enabling you to buy numerous things at once, automatic inventory capabilities, improved security, and more. Next, find a place to put the vending machine. Vending machines in a broader range of locations can help you broaden your business and boost the number of people who use them daily. There are various locations where a vending machine would be beneficial. Schools, workplaces, parks, transportation centers, stadiums, and courthouses are just a few examples of potential profit-generating locales. After finding a place to put your vending machine, finding a distribution and stocking partner is essential. You won't want to track and stock every vending machine yourself once you have a significant number of them. 
Expanding your machine count will be a lot easier if you create a team of dependable, competitively priced partners. The next step is identifying key performance indicators. When running a business of any kind, particularly vending machines, you'll want to think about how you'll track your progress over time. A vending machine business owner could use a variety of key performance indicators. For example, average profit per item, average profit per vending machine, total revenue, total profit margin, and other factors can be considered. Lastly, create a plan for future growth. Many of the most successful vending machine entrepreneurs started with only one machine. These enterprises undoubtedly added new appliances, sought recent locations, and changed their current menu throughout time. Your vending machine business will grow if you plan for the future. Most vending businesses require at least a car and one or two machines to get started. However, you may need a garage, storage space, office equipment, and repair and maintenance tools when your business expands. Depending on the number of people that use the vending machine, a vending machine can generate between $5 and $100 every week. The overhead cost of the goods you sell is another crucial aspect that might affect the amount of money you take home from your vending machine. So, starting your own vending machine business might offer you a steady stream of income. You may become a successful business owner with the correct business banking partner and plan in place. Hope this video was helpful? Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below, and remember to click the subscribe button to be the first to watch new videos on this channel.